You do not want me dead! There is only one person I want dead more. I have information, Elf. And I will trade it in return for my life. Ha! <laughs> the location of Daenerys. What good will that do me? I'd rather he lose his pet pupil. You have a sister. She is alive. You wish to reclaim your life? Let me go, and I will tell you where she is. This is your call. So I have your word. I tell you, and you let me go. Yes, you have my word. Her name is Rainia. She is in Carinus, serving a magister by the name of Araman. A servant, not a slave. She's not a slave. I believe you. <gasps> we are done here. Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. This could be a trap. Daenerys could have sent Hadriana here to tell me about this sister. Even if he didn't, trying to find her would still be suicide. Daenerys has to know about her and has to know that Hadriana knows. But all that matters is I finally got to crush this bitch's heart. May she rot and all the other mages with her. And here I thought you were unreasonable. This doesn't mean we shouldn't look for your sister. What else should it mean? Even if I found my sister, who knows what the Magisters have done to her? What has magic touched that it doesn't spoil? I... need to go. Just spit it out. Are you sure you want to encourage me? I might be about to confess my undying love. I get that a lot. So, what's on your mind? I just realized it's been a while since any of the gangs in the Undercity came to my door. They're busy people. Places to go, throats to cut. Maybe you've slipped their minds. Right. The apostate running the free clinic in the sewers. Easy to forget. You didn't have anything to do with this? You must have me confused with someone else. I'm just a businessman and a storyteller. I've been thinking about what happened with Hadriana. I took out my anger on you, undeservedly so. I was not myself. I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. You are generous. When I was still a slave, Hadriana was a torment. She would ridicule me, deny my meals, hound my sleep. Because of her status, I was powerless to respond, and she knew it. The thought of her slipping out of my grasp now. I couldn't let her go. I wanted to, but I couldn't. That's more important than your promise. It's not easy to discover your principles are less noble than you believed. This hate. I thought I'd gotten away from it. But it dogs me no matter where I go. To feel it again, to know it was they who planted it inside me. It was too much to bear. Ah, but I didn't come here to burden you further. We're friends, Fenris. I'm not certain I know what that is. There's an elven woman here, Messiah. 
She claims she was sent here by you. I, uh, I didn't know where to tell her. An elven slave? Make us pray. Greetings, Master. Your home was difficult to find. I've never been out on my own before, but I found it. Many people know of you. I hope I've made myself useful. I've already begun cleaning and I can cook. Not as good as Papa, but a little. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? You've been through a great deal. How are you feeling? I miss Papa, the other servants. I try not to think about what happened. I even feel sorry for the Magister. Is that bad? You served her a long time. I understand. I'll serve you just as well, Master. You'll see. If you're staying here, Arana, it will be as my servant. You mean, I won't be a slave anymore? You'll be paid. Like anyone else. I... A slave is all I've ever been. Like Papa and Grandpapa before me. I'll try to be a good servant. Thank you, Master. You're too good to me. It's very shiny. If you need any enchantments, I'm sure my boy would be happy to help you. 